Whether it's for fixing bugs or adding new features, or improving the interface of your radio, there's no faster way to improve your experience and get on the air than by updating your radio's firmware. Hi, I'm Sebastian, KB0TTL with BridgeCom Systems. Today, I'm going to share with you the quick way to update the firmware on your Zygu G90 HF transceiver. In this video, we'll walk you through every step to successfully updating your Zygu's firmware, as well as share a few helpful tips along the way. All right, we're gonna go to the BridgeCom Systems website, and we're gonna get our files here, our TiraTerm installer, as well as our firmware files. And right now, the final version uh, for the radio here, as far as firmware files, is version 1.75. And we'll go to our support page. And we'll go down here to Zygu G90 support. Got our PDF firmware update guide uh, for the G90, uh, which you can use here if you like. We have our TerraTerm software. We have our front display software, and we have our main unit software. So we're to download all three of these files, TerraTerm, front unit, and back unit. Uh, software. And I'm just going to go in here and unzip this. Go ahead and create a directory name. You can use whichever directory name you like. And these are both in my download folder here as well. Those are not zip files. They do not need to be unzipped. Okay, so we've downloaded our files and now we are ready to go ahead and begin the uh, process here. So I'm just gonna go to that directory here that I created. The uh, TerraTerm 175. and our update tool. We got TerraTerm Pro. And that brings up our terminal. I'm gonna go ahead and close the TerraTerm window down. I'm gonna go ahead and get our um, blue connection cable, prolific cable, uh, hooked up to the PC here. And uh, Windows 7 and Windows 10 should automatically detect the prolific driver and the blue dongle on the end of this cable when it is plugged in. And I'm just going to check my COM ports right now in Device Manager to make sure that it is showing here. The COM port that your PC uses will probably be a different COM port number than what my PC uses. Go ahead and pull a device manager. Ports COM and LPT. And we have USB serial port COM 5 is where our prolific driver is located. And there it is. All right, so we got that plugged in. Now on the side of our radio here, I'm just gonna turn the radio. We're gonna plug our data connection to the bottom. We'll go ahead and launch TerraTerm Pro. All right, now that we're in, we're going to go ahead and set up our uh, serial port. COM5 was the one showing in our device manager, so that's what we'll use. 
the baud rate will be a default of 115200. So in this case, that's actually correct. We don't need to do anything else to that. I'm gonna go ahead and hit OK. Now what I wanna go ahead and do is apply power to this radio. And as soon as I apply power, within maybe half a second from the time that I apply power to this radio, I'm gonna need to go ahead and hit my space bar so I can get into update mode here in the TerraTerm screen. It may take you a couple of tries to do this correctly. Doing this the other day, and yes, it did. It took me a couple of tries. So, it takes you a couple of tries. Uh, you're fine with it here. So I'm gonna go ahead and proceed to power this unit on. No sooner than I power it on, I'm gonna have to hit my space bar so I can get into update mode. This time we see that we have XG bootloader and firmware update and exit in our menu here. This is perfect. What we're gonna do is we're gonna say that we want a firmware update. So we'll push one. It's gonna erase the firmware in the front end of this radio. All right, so now I'm gonna grab the new firmware for the front end of this radio that we just downloaded. So I'm gonna say file. and transfer, and X modem, and send. I'm gonna click that. All right, right here in downloads, you see the files that I downloaded. You see my TerraTerm file, um, you see my main unit, and you see my display unit. So the front end is the display unit, version 1.75 final, which is the most recent. You see the date here, 2.12.21. So we just got this here. Go ahead and click that. And when I open it, it's gonna write this to the radio. Perfect. And it's come back on, which means that the front end update was successful. Now let's go ahead and update the back end. To do that, we're gonna power the radio off. We're gonna unplug the power. Uh, unplug my cable. I'm gonna close TerraTerm. I'm gonna flip my radio around just to show you what I'm doing here. That little orange circle there is our COM port. This is to update the firmware on the back end. And yeah, I'm gonna have to turn this ready around, but you saw where to plug it. That's all you really need to see is where to plug that. Plug my power back in. All right, so I'm gonna launch my Terra term. All right, we're gonna go back here to set up here just as we did before. I'm gonna set up my serial port. So I got COM5, 115200 is the setting, same as for the front. I'm gonna hit OK. All right, this is gonna be cool. I'm gonna go here to File. Actually, before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and power on just like I did before now that the port is properly set up. And again, when I push power, gotta hit space bar in like a split second here. So we'll do that. And success, we have the options here we have Update firmware, we have exit in our XG bootloader. So like before, I'm gonna go ahead and update firmware. Difference is, I'm gonna update this for the back end. So it's gonna erase what's in the back end of this radio here currently. All right, that was quick. We're gonna go in here. We're gonna say file. We're gonna say a transfer. We're gonna say X modem here just like before. We're gonna say send here just like before. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and get our main unit this time. We're gonna open that file. And it's gonna write our software here for our main unit. 
So once this is complete, we should have both the front half and the back half of this radio updated. So the only thing left is to do a reset. What I mean by reset is we're going to unplug the power and we're just going to leave it sit here for about a minute and we're going to power it on. So it's asking me to please reboot my rig. It says connection lost, which is it's supposed to be. So to reboot, I'm going to turn it off. Unplug my power. Unplug my programming cable. I'm going to leave it sit here for about a minute. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and power this back on. I'm going to shove my computer here out of the way. I'm going to power this back on. I'm going to connect an antenna. I'm going to receive something just to show you, that you guys that this works. So when I push this, it should be updated here to the new firmware. Um, which it is. It's receiving. Got to tune up the antenna. I'm going to pull in a station here, and then I'm going to show you the firmware version that we just updated this to. All right, so we see that we're receiving somebody. Now, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what version of firmware we're on, and that'll conclude our firmware update video uh, demo here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to push our function key down for a few seconds, long press. I'm going to hit this next key. Actually, probably previous key in this case. to option 10, and it's going to detect what firmware I'm on. See the green screen, and right here now, we have the firmware we just updated it to. And um, let's see here, it's version 1.75 for the front and the back end. So that's how I'm going to go ahead and update my firmware. Um, you'll want to go ahead, as soon as the firmware is vetted, that as soon as it's released, we'll go ahead and put that out on our website, and then you'll be able to go in and, uh, and update your firmware each time. And I believe it's once about every oh, six or so months that they come out with some firmware. So we're due to be getting some here pretty quick. But uh, this was on 1.74, so we put her on up to 1.75. This was one of the original demo units we got from the original batch that still needed to be done. So that's what we used here uh, today. If you haven't already gotten yourself a Zygu G90, don't worry. I just click below here. You could purchase one here today. I personally use this radio. I had a ton of fun with it. For more tips on setting up this radio, please click below to watch our quick start guide. Thanks again for watching. I'm Sebastian, KB0TTL with Bridgecom Systems 7.3.